Man, these three-day weekends be hurting the brother. You are now listening to Giami Journey Radio. Of course, this is a heart of a civil production. And we strive to blow up those old paradigms. You are listening to AO. Yo, this is Brother Hot Tim coming at you again. And we got our little 15 minute, 15 minute run in. So let me go on, get my timer started. Timer is on, so let's see what's going on. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, everything moving slow today, y'all. So, we go down the timeline. For those that don't know, just follow me on the timeline of GME Journey. Of course, I posted up that we're recording live. Now, um, for those that want to just try to keep track of our cut, um, um, Cat Williams stuff, he's facing charges for the fight he had with the team. Um, I don't think no lawsuit came through for the young the young dude yet, but let's go and check this out. Um, Channel Two, Tom Reagan. This is from um, WSB TV Atlanta. Channel Two, comedian Cat Williams is facing more legal trouble in Jan in Georgia. Um, the charge is still from an incident caught on video in which Williams allegedly punched a teenager in Howe County last week. He just started playing soccer with us, and then he started to get into an argument. So, basically, um, legal charges have been filed, but I don't think uh, a lawsuit has came through. But <clears throat> I'm predicting that possibly a lawsuit will be coming through because, you know, people be looking for these those type of milk tickets. And since we are living in a society where there's probably not a lot of honor, not a lot of honor, uh, Cat Williams is about to get about to get sued but hey um let's do this still to remind us that he's on some galactic soccer and that little boy is on some galactic soccer need to let people know back to the news so <clears throat> we got an open letter to the great pumpkins voters by his uh, top strategist turned the de- de- Defector, right? Or detractor or whatever, but it says defector. It's a defector. A little bit. And um, it's from um, a news site called Exo Jane. 
and it's an open letter to Trump voters from his top strategist turned defector. Now, um, his top strategist, one of his top strategists for a time, um, admits that they never thought that Donald Trump was going to go as far. I mean, basically, the whole, what I'm feeling as far as the reality piece of uh, getting free publicity, well, really not free publicity, but getting publicity in a way that um, was uh, was very feasible during an election year, right? Donald Trump doing his thing. So now, strategists talking about how they never thought he would make it this far, um, how he's not really uh, the candidate that people are, are thinking that he is and blah, blah, blah. So I told you they're going to come at him from all directions, right? But go and check out the article. But of course, you know, the great pumpkin gets this and, and, and his aide who helped him who helped him create this bullshit gets this. Here it comes. Right now. Yeah. That's what he gets. That's what he get, yep. Yeah. Cause he on some bullshit. He's on some bullshit. See. So Donald Trump stays in the news. He successfully he's he's able to successfully stay, which is incredible to me. Alright, so let's go um back to The U.S. says it has unlocked iPhone without Apple. Wow. Are you shocked? Are you as shocked as I am that the United States of America, right, was able to unlock an iPhone? Come on, man. I mean, we already knew that y'all was able to do it. I know what I'm missing. Oh, my God. It's so early in the morning. I forgot my freestyle music. Oh, my God. What's going on with me? I'm just getting old, that's all. All right, let's go. I don't know what's going on, but everything is moving slow. Hold on. Man, I'm starting to think that my... Uh, equipment had a rough weekend too. I mean, it's slow like me. I'm like, man, yesterday I was dragging like you wouldn't believe. Hey, so I didn't wake up until almost eight o'clock in the morning. So now, how many of y'all really shocked by the fact that the U.S. was able to unlock the iPhone? How many of y'all shocked that the U.S. even went to Apple to even try to unlock the iPhone? Why not just unlock the iPhone? You know what I'm saying? If it's if it's a crucial case. Why not just use the resources that you have to go and just open the damn iPhone rather than sit around here and causing all this fuss about opening the iPhone when you was already able to open it, right? All right, so of course, of course, the United States government, they get, they, they, they on some intergalactic shit, so they get that. They get the intergalactic shit, all right? Everything is moving very slow. We are nine minutes. Nine minutes for the morning quickie. All right. Carbon dioxide is rising at its fastest rate in 66 million years. Now, this is one of those questions that I have to ask. How do we know this shit? I mean, nobody was around 66 million years ago. How do you know that we got more carbon dioxide coming out right now than we had 66 million years ago. 100 years ago, I can accept that, right? Maybe even a thousand years ago, but 66 million years, carbon dioxide is rising at its fastest rate in 66 million years. I mean, that's kind of reaching. Don't y'all believe? That's kind of reaching, right? I do know that carbon dioxide, it, it, we, 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 we're, um, we're, we're blowing it out like crazy, right? I understand that. But the highest rate in 66 million years? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. I'm just, I'm a, that's, that's a lot of questions 
fuckery, fear, you know what I'm saying, terror. You know what I mean? They just fuck with our minds all the time. All right. All right, now we got an article on here because lately in the news, those that are like um, trying to get in shape and stuff like that, and you want to try the, the standing desk, they got these new things called standing desks. Um, actually, they're not new, new, they're at least two, three years old, and where you just stand up all day, right? Um, I sit on the exercise ball, not because I'm trying to get in shape, but because I, I fall asleep. So the exercise ball kind of keeps me alert. Because if I'm not awake, I'm falling off and I'm going to hurt myself. So I, I sit on the ball. But they got these standing desks. And um, there's an article on, on the timeline where it talks about a person is saying that even it makes them more productive, even though it's not healthy. Because the, the recent studies that came out about it says that um, a standing desk does not make you healthier. All right, it's not healthier. Um, five ways to start reaching your goals before you have before you have one. All right, five ways to start reaching your goal before you have one. This is from, let's go and look at that. That might be a nice little read for some of us in the morning. All right. This is from Pick the Brain. You know, they be having some good articles. At our family reunion last year, my nephew, old, did something he had never attempted before. By the time we had all sat down for brunch, my nephew had run a full marathon without any advanced planning. He had gotten up at 4 in the morning to run 26.2 miles. How was he able to accomplish his, his amazing feat of endurance? He had already been working on the discipline he needed to complete the run. My nephew is an athlete. He is a competitor. knowledge and experience. You don't need to have a goal in mind to start working towards it. In fact, uh, you'll be in much better position for reaching your goals if you have already been working towards them. There are certain elements in goal attainment that are essential both before and after you determine what you want. In adapting James Allen Class's book as a man thinking, I came to appreciate how his book provides a complete blueprint for success in any endeavor. So that's a nice book to get. I won't continue reading. I'm going to let you finish reading that, right? Um, check it out. Um, the classic book, As a Man Think It. Um, basically, they're telling you to be prepared for anything. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's, a good, it's a good article. So we're going to give that one a round of applause. Let's give it a round of applause. Up. All right, so now they have on the timeline we got this thing called Ethereum. Ethereum, a virtual currency. So, those that don't know about virtual currency, go and find out about it. I only got four minutes, 22 seconds. I won't go into it. Then it's not a burner. Oh, House Lawmaker wants to make it illegal to buy a burner phone without ID. I mean, is these? I'm. It, it, are they just stupid? I mean, what is the purpose of getting a burner phone? A burner phone. If you have to use ID to get the damn burner phone, you just want a phone that you could use and get rid of. Period. But now they want you to have to have an ID. I mean, these legal motherfuckers. I mean, these they, they, they sit up in these they sit up in these ivory towers and look down and just wanted to make shit a little bit more complicated. You know what I'm saying? They want to take strip away, strip away all your money. They want to strip away all your freedoms. They want to strip away all your privacy. And I mean, and, and we keep electing these dumb motherfuckers. How is it that you gonna have something called a burner phone? But now you got to use our ID to get the burner phone. You want a burner phone. You want a phone that you can use and throw away. For whatever reasons, legal or illegal, you just want to stay private. You want to be anonymous. That's your, that's your right, 
right? So now you need a you they they're putting legislation through to try to get people call your representatives right now. Get on the phone early in the morning. That's right, right now. Whenever you're listening to me, right now, get on the phone, call your representative, send them an email, let them know that they better not pass this dumb shit, or we will put the great pump in an office. I uh, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, I can't. Uh, all right. Um, Oh, I got a list on my timeline of the, um, oh, my fault. This is about Netflix trying to take over the world, trying to be everything to everybody. If you got Netflix, it's pretty good. I just been binging out on some Kung Fu movies. Um, they got some old, I'm talking about the old school Kung Fu movies. Y'all need to go and check them out. Um, uh, all right. Okay, so now for those that are sick of the, uh, the two parties, the Democrat and Republicans, um, Jill Stein, the Green Party candidate for president. So um, there's an article on there where you can read about him. Uh, Dave Chappelle uh, uh, did a show in Hollywood, I think, and part of the show, he was joking about um, uh, Bruce Jenner, form, um, Caitlyn Jenner, formerly known as Bruce Jenner. You know what I'm saying? I uh, hope you got them. Uh, hope your fave is on this list. Uh, they got some new titles coming out uh, in April for uh, Netflix. Go and check out the list. Hopefully you get if you find out that one of your favorite movies are on, is on there. Uh, Bernie Sanders called George Clinton fundraising obscene. For those that don't know, uh, George Clooney is... Uh, is in support of our girl, uh, the the wife of former President Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton. She has a fundraiser going on now. But the the the, the crazy part about the fundraiser is that Bernie Sanders is looking at the fundraiser, talking about how crazy it is, how obscene, and what do we mean obscene, Bernie? So. The tickets for this fundraiser, right? The tickets for the fundraiser. Now, hold on. My computer's moving slow once again. All right. There go one. All right. Ooh, man. I need to stop the clock. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. This is moving that slow. Stop. Paul. Stop the clock. All right. Are you up? All right, Bernie, come on. Still not out. Incredible. All this modern technology, maybe my. Okay, there it go. All right. Starting to watch back up. Start. I got 14 seconds. Bernie Sanders is calling uh, the fundraiser that George Clooney, or now known as Bad, is throwing for uh, Hillary Clinton. The plates are three hundred thousand. That is the morning quickie. I like to thank y'all for tuning in. All right. I see y'all tomorrow morning, and Brother Hot Tim is out. Oh, my my fault. I'm not out yet. We still gotta we still gotta do this. Well, everything froze up on me, so with that, y'all have a great morning. For black power, cause all we want is freedom. Throw up a fist for black power, cause all throw up a fist for black power, cause all we want is freedom. Throw up a fist, throw up a fist, throw up a fist, throw up a fist for black power, cause all we want is freedom.
fist up, 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 black power, cause all we want is freedom. Throw up a fist of black power, cause all we want is freedom. black power, cause all we want is freedom. Throw up a fist of black power, cause all we want is freedom. 